Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Heroes Song of the Ocean. Last time we made our way back to Kranka for like the second time? Third time? Anyway, the poison was uh, seeping into the water, so we turned off the water, and now we're going to go inside the underground passage to figure out the source of the poison and, more importantly, find hidden treasure! Kick it open? Oh, yeah, no kidding, you can't break this, that'll bust up their water supply. Or, you know, you could turn the handle and just open the door. That works too. <laughs> anyway, here we are into the underground waterway. So, yeah, let's just go exploring, see what there is to find. Let's see, uh, this place is pretty straightforward, so yeah, it shouldn't be too hard to find your way around here. Oh, here is the uh, enemy of the game, or the uh, area, but I skipped him. But don't worry, there'll be more chances to, uh, fight them later on. Here we have a, um, yeah, a rock crash wall. Remember how I said that the walls look different? There you go. There's your different wall. Okay, so from here, let's see, I need to go right and avoid this guy. Woohoo! Yeah. Oh, I'm actually doing really well avoiding these guys. Who knew? If I avoid them all, I'll go out of my way to fight one or something. I'll make sure that I show them all. Don't worry. Ooh, there's a treasure! Remember that for later. Later this episode. Later in like a minute or two, but still. Nevertheless, later. Anyway, go on over here and... Oh, what's all this? Oh, yeah, this is that thing that he was talking about. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, can you read it? Oh, okay, well great. Well, what does it say? The melody to decontaminate poison or recover condition, crush it, and pass on through. So, use your rock crush? Yeah! Show us what you got! Um, of course I want to use rock crush. Come on now. BAM! Yeah. Leave it to Grandpa and McBain to kick ass and take names. Woohoo! And what do you have? What do you have? Woohoo! Our first resident stone of purification! Hey, awesome! Yeah, so that means that the magic map is actually real. Oh. Okay. Oh, yeah, so I guess the spell effect for this resident stone is to purify poison or recover condition? I guess. You just equipped it and cast it. It's not that hard. Oh, well, yeah, even though, uh, antidotes are called antidotes in this game, they're called purify potions, but sure. Okay. Yeah, because there's that treasure chest that we saw earlier that we couldn't get. Now, in order to equip to Resonance Stone, just go into the equipment screen. If you hit over right, then you'll see here, uh, four little slots to equip a, uh, Resonance Stone. So, yeah, you can equip Purification here on Forte if you want to. Notice it also kind of works like, um... Materia or Quartz in the, uh, you know, Cold Steel or Sky series, in that this particular stone will raise Forte's magic defense if he equips it, so that's kind of nice. However, I don't want to give it to him. I want to give it to Una, because she has the lowest attack power of the bunch. And speaking of uh, people who can equip it, Jan can't. Yeah, it's only Una, McBain, and Forte can equip resonant stones, so keep that in mind. So yeah, let's go ahead and give it to her. So now she has more uses in battle. Awesome. Yeah, I really like that. How this, like like I said, this is a precursor to what you find in the Sky or Cold Steel series, or even, you know, in Zero and Azure. Um, you know, they're always kind of, I don't know, making their games a little bit better, improving upon them. And you can really see that in this game. You know, it's no longer that you gain levels and, you know, gain magic spells you actually have to find items and gain magic spells that way, so it's kind of cool. Wow, I avoided that guy too? Who knew? Man, I'm doing really well here. Huh. Oh well, I'll fight him, don't worry. Anyway, let's go over here and get that treasure that we saw earlier. What do we have? What do we have? Come on now. Ooh, a fighting band, our first accessory of the game. So let's go ahead and equip that as well. I will equip this on Forte. This is the Fighting Band. It raises your attack power by two and your defense power by two as well. So yeah, make sure that you equip that on him 
And then let me go back and actually fight one of these monsters. I can't believe that I avoided every single one. How lucky am I? I mean, seriously, that like never happens. There you are. Okay, so here we have the poison bugs, and I have full deadly attack gauges for everyone, and I want to keep all those gauges full because we will have a boss fight coming up pretty shortly. Also, you can steal purify potions from these guys if you need to, but now that we have the purify spell, we really don't have to. Oh, speaking of those spells, let me uh, show you. Just go down to the magic thing right here, and then we have Contelect, which is your purification spell, and Recovery right here. I don't know if this means that like it purifies everything else besides poison, like sleep or paralysis or stone or something like that, or if it actually means that it dispels spells. But we'll cross that bridge whenever it comes to it. Oh, yeah, Jan just got poisoned. Whoa! Luna just got poisoned, too. But I don't really care about curing their poison. They made this such a big deal about poison, but honestly, like, poison wears off at the end of a battle anyway. So, yeah, why even bother? I mean, unless it's like a really long battle, like a boss fight or something, I really don't care. And, uh, speaking of the boss fight, that's way over by the entrance of uh, this cave, so I'm just gonna head on out of here, backtrack, until we uh, meet up with that boss. Oh, whoa! What are these guys? Yikes! Oh, yeah, no kidding. It looks like a cat with like a balloon on its back or something. What exactly are these things supposed to be? Are they like a floating jellyfish or something? I don't know. Oh, probably. Okay, yeah. Thankfully, we can cure poison now. Not that we really need to, but it's there. So here we have the giant poison bugs. You can also steal purify potions from. Let's see, we'll just have everybody attack one. McBain, I want to use encouragement to raise his attack power. You, can, you can't target other people with it. You can only target himself with it, which kind of sucks. And uh, let's see, Jan gets an attack. So now I want to use Jan's... Uh, charge dog ability so basically what i want them to do is attack and then use their deadly strike this i think is the most efficient way of handling things Woohoo! we got him nice okay perfect oh wow they're really messing with other poison and everything that's really great okay luna's going to go so let's have her use uh, her shining arrow as well Very nice. Okay. And let's see. Let's go ahead and have Forte use his deadly attack as well, and then we'll have McBain use his also. The one downside of these deadly attacks is that you really can't target someone with it, if you know what I mean. Like, it just kind of randomly chooses people. However, Luna's attack, as well as Jan's attack, hits all enemies in a line. So that's very nice, whereas Forte's and McBain's are single target. But yeah, we got them easily enough. Hardly. Oh, sorry, I went through that way too fast. Sorry about that. Okay, yeah, let's head on back up. Shouldn't be too much of a problem to get on out of here. So I'm just going to meet you up top. Okay, I've made my way back over here to the uh, Watergate cabin. And I guess we need to turn on the water supply now. Yeah, pretty simple. That's cool, that's all you have to say. Your entire village is no longer being poisoned every five seconds. And that's cool. Great, great game. You know, nothing like saving someone's life to say that's cool. Wow, I guess it's gratitude somewhat, I guess. Yeah, here you go. Uh, yeah? Oh. Well, so are we. Yeah, and you probably wouldn't have felt so cool then. Really, we have to let the Elder know again? Uh, I just decided to beat you over here. This is so dumb. Why do we have to let the Elder know? Like, of course the Elder knows that the water is back on again. Of course he knows that we saved it. The water is no longer red with poison, and your water wheel is turning, because 
the water is back on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, a happy ending. Um, I don't know if I would use that term, Una. Okay, we have to go all the way back to Rocco's Palma with no quick jump. But there is something cool that we can kind of do over here. You just examine this wall. Apparently, Forte feels like rubbing his cheek at a dead end. Yeah, I don't really get it. But for doing that, you received some marbles and you get mud all over your face. That's really strange to me. And how are you supposed to know to do that? Not that marbles are all that good or anything, but like there's no exclamation point there or anything. Like, you just have to randomly rub your cheek against walls in this game? That's so unusual. Anyway, let's just get out here and uh, go talk to these girls on the bridge who always seem to be wanting to talk to us and bother us. Don't they ever get any work done? Oh. Well, yeah. I mean, we got the resident stone. We know what the magic map is, you know. Good deal. And we can go on a treasure hunt! Save the world! Oh, okay. Well, see ya. Anyway, I'm gonna meet you back in Rocco's Palma. Well, yeah, I know that. Oh, well, yeah, sure. That would be really nice of you. Oh, yeah, definitely. Aww. Oh, how? Are you going to take me to the, uh, recital? Wow. You're not that bad of a guy, are you? Oh, really? Then what exactly is it? Oh, convey the feeling and the emotion that the music has. Gotcha. So we don't actually get to hear him play his Kathara? Every other time, even whenever you don't want to hear them play music, we hear them play. Now the one time that he's practicing, we don't get to hear him play? Sure game, sure. Oh, you're gonna go right after the performance? Oh. Uh, yeah, I'll play for you. This is kind of sad. Oh. So no matter what, McBain's gonna leave on this journey to collect all the rest of the resident stones alone. I don't want him to do that. I mean, it could be really dangerous. Apparently there's harder monsters out there that we haven't actually seen. We've only seen three species of monsters so far. Well, what is it? Really? Really, game? Seriously? So you don't want McBain to go on this trip because it's too dangerous, but you want your 14-year-old son to go on this trip instead? Wow. These parents are horrible. Eh, oh well. I guess it was a more simpler time back then. Oh. Why? Wait, I thought that Forte wanted to go on this trip. So now he doesn't want to? Okay. Uh, sure. But why would the recital change their mind? I mean, he said that he wouldn't go on the trip till after the recital anyway. Yeah, well, what's going on? Wait. So Forte doesn't want to go on the trip, but Una does? Oh. Oh, something tells me that she wants to go on the trip with McBain to hang out with Forte, but she doesn't even know that Forte is going to go on the trip. Yeah. Uh, more than likely, that's what girls do in JRPGs. They're very headstrong like that. Really, that's a saying, if you love your child, let them go on a journey? I don't think that that's a saying. I think the actual saying is, if you love someone, set them free. But that's just me, I don't know. Are you guys really going to get into an argument over who's more stubborn? Oh wow, they actually are. <laughs> 
Oh my god, like, seriously? Uh, bye girl. Wow, they're still going on. Shut up! What's their problem? Okay. Oh, well, great. Oh, wow, we actually get quick jumped somewhere. Who knew? What a concept! And we get quick jumped to a place that we've never been before. That's odd. You would think that they would make us travel to a place that we haven't been before, and quick jump us to places that we've already been to. But whatever. Whatever, game. Whatever you want to do. Oh, here's a Forte's performance. I hope he does well. Hey, not bad, not bad at all. Is it just me, or does that kind of sound like Oh Susanna? I don't know. Okay. Oh, a violinist from Graysoul. Huh. Uh, yeah, you're training, and... Everybody's advice not to play the trumpet. Anyway, yeah, let's get out of their bickering. So the next entry is Altos, the neighboring country of Graysol across the ocean. The Serenade of Wind. Oh, very nice. Ooh, and he's a unique sprite, too. That was pretty good, yeah. yeah. Not bad, not bad at all. Your performance was like a night breeze whispering to the flowers and the grass in a field? Whatever you say. I don't know if I'd ever describe something that way, but sure. <laughs> oh, ooh. I guess these are the results. I would imagine so. Okay, yeah. And who will win the Pinzel recital? Find out next time on Let's Play The Legend of Heroes Song of the Ocean. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.